and welcome to Storytime with Miss Marisa. As you can see, I'm not in the library. I'm at my house, so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to bring you a mini story time. Today's story time is geared for preschool age and up, but again, it's great for the whole family. So gather everybody around and let's do our welcome song. Are you ready? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends a story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends a story time, we stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends a story time, we wave and sing hello. Very good, everybody. So today's book, are you ready? It's a good one, is... Interstellar Cinderella by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Meg Hunt. That means Miss Hunt did all of the illustrations and the drawings. So this is an example of a fractured fairy tale. And the fractured fairy tale is where they take a classic story that you're familiar with, like Cinderella, and they change it all up to make a completely new story. And this one is very exciting. And as you can see, it's not a regular book. It's what we call an e-book. And I found this on our app, Libby, that has access to so many ebooks and audiobooks. And with your library card, you can go to our website, download the appropriate app for your device, and you can read an ebook too. And they have great picture books and books for the entire family. If you don't have a library card, now is the perfect time to get one. You can go on our website and get a digital e card, which will give you instant access to magazines, movies, databases, audiobooks, and of course, ebooks. And I'll tell you how to do that a little later. But for now, let's read Interstellar Cinderella. And I have special permission to read this to you from Chronicle Books. Once upon a planetoid, amid her tools and sprockets, a girl named Cinderella dreamed of fixing fancy rockets. She fixed the robot dishwashers and zoom brooms in her care. But late each night, she snuck away to study ship repair. One day, her wicked stepsisters came dashing in excited. <gasps> the Prince's Royal Space Parade! Our family's invited! I wish that you could come, my dear. Alas, no room. Although, why don't you fix that broken ship and fly it to the show? My toolbox, Cinderella cried. We're stranded here, I guess. But Murgatroyd the mouse sent out a cosmic SOS. Ooh, I wonder who that is. I'm here, your fairy god robot. I'll make you brand new tools. You'll need a spacesuit too, of course. Atomic blue with jewels. This power gem will speed your ship across the starry sky. It only lasts till midnight. After that, your ship won't fly. Oh, thank you, Cinderella said. She quickly fixed the rocket, then tucked the sonic, sonic socket wrench inside her spacesuit pocket. She zoomed past stars and nebulae and parked beside a moon. The space parade was glorious. Each starship made her swoon. At last, the royal ship approached. Her heart was filled with yearning. The ship of Cinderella's dreams, but heavens, what was burning? The prince's spaceship jerked and hissed and spewed a cloud of grit. The prince hopped out, oh blast, what now? My chief mechanic quit. But interstellar Cinderella knew just what to do. She zip zapped with her socket wrench. The ship was good as new. The prince invited her aboard. Last stop, Galactic Hall. He said, I hope you'll join me for the gravity-free ball. They talked for hours of rocket ships. The time went whizzing by. Then Cinderella saw the clock and said, I have to fly. But wait, the prince called after her. Please tell me how to find. The girl was gone, but she had left her socket wrench behind. The prince set out a transmission to the farthest edge of space. I'll search the cosmos for her. How I wish I'd seen her face. 
The prince's ship, Grizella, screeched. Her sister squealed in fear. The prince won't marry one of us if Cinderella's here. Their mother said, don't worry. He won't find her in this house. I've trapped her in the attic with that useless robot mouse. The prince's cargo door revealed a broken craft within. The girl I seek can fix a ship. So, who'd like to begin? He gave the sonic socket wrench to one, then to the other. Alas, they couldn't fix the ship, and neither could their mother. Cinderella struggled, but the space rope held her tight, till Murgatroyd's robotic teeth cut through with one bite. The ship, it's leaving! Wait, what's this? She made a fast repair, then strapped the rusty jet pack on and blasted through the air. She landed right beside the prince. That wrench is mine, she cried. She quickly fixed the ailing ship. The prince said, be my bride. She thought this over carefully. Her family watched in panic. I'm far too young for marriage, but I'll be your chief mechanic. Amid her fleet of sparkling ships and friends both old and new, a joyful Cinderella cried, my stars, dreams do come true. The end. Oh, wasn't that a lovely story? I just love fractured fairy tales. So now I thought it'd be a time where we can play pretend. And just like Cinderella, let's pretend to go up in space. So to do that, we're gonna need our space suits on. So let's get our space suits on and our space helmet, because we're gonna go to the moon. All right, are you ready? Follow me. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take the trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Oh, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you'd like to take the trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Yay! Oh, that was so much fun. Now let's take off our space helmets and our space suit. So grown-ups, pretend play is an important part of early literacy because it helps them recognize language and it's also just lots of fun. All right. So before we say goodbye today, I just want to remind you to check out our website, lbccld.org. There again, you can apply for our digital e-card. We'll get you that instant access to all of our e-resources. We have book suggestions, um, if you'd like to do story time at home, maybe. We have lots of e-resources, like I said, and much, much more. But now I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo, kangaroos. I'll see you soon.